COVID-19 numbers are creeping back up. After several days of case counts in the low 30s, today marks yet another day of increases. This one the largest since restrictions were lifted. The health minister insists there is no immediate cause for concern, but some doctors aren't so sure. Here's Tim Brooke. On city streets, businesses are open and some Calgarians trade in social distancing for up-close socializing. But as the summer wears on, it's becoming more and more obvious that COVID-19 isn't going anywhere. Now we have five days of increasingly increasing growth. Numbers ticked up once again Thursday. There are 106 new cases in the province and 58 in the Calgary zone. That's a lot lower than we've seen before, but it's also a lot higher than it was just days ago. The case counts also mark a noticeable week over week increase, especially bad in Calgary, where the seven day average of new cases is up over 80% from a week ago. Right now, the reproduction value in the La Calgary area is 1.42. Generally, what this means is that 100 infections will lead to 142 secondary infections. But the health minister says there's no reason to sound the alarm quite yet. Throughout the uh, the summer, the numbers are, are going to go up. They will go down. Vaccine uptake in Alberta still lags behind other provinces. And 96% of Alberta's cases this year have been in unvaccinated individuals or those still within a two-week window of their first dose. So we still need to protect those people that cannot be vaccinated or will not be vaccinated. Some people tell us the latest trends have them thinking twice about their summer behavior. I did kind of want the mask mandate to last a little longer in Calgary. Wrong direction. And nobody seems to care. And with variants and whatnot, um, I think that nothing's 100%. But of course, there is one way to quell at least some of this spread. Tyler Shandro says it's a no-brainer. The, the message is still that vaccines work, that vaccines are safe and effective, and they were our way in getting the, the numbers down. Tim is at Foothills Hospital tonight. Tim, there are still plenty of options out there for anyone who is still looking to be vaccinated. And as you know, Tara, the province has really been pushing especially hard this month to make sure that vaccinations are as accessible as possible. So really, if you're an Albertan age 12 and up, there are no more excuses to not be immunized. Now, the latest initiative initiative rather from the province is a mobile clinic. It'll be traveling to some rural communities in our province that may have a little bit lower vaccine uptake. That'll include some hard to reach communities as well as some uh, remote work sites or work camps uh, and Tara this clinic one of just two in Canada it'll be offering first and second doses and that all gets underway next week.